गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू माई सेल्फ पांडव कुमार राय टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास एट दैट इज क्रॉप पैटर्न एंड प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सॉइल दिस चैप्टर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस बिकॉज वी नो दैट इंडिया इज अ लैंड ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड एग्रीकल्चर इज द मेन ऑक्यूपेशन ऑफ द Indians. So, if you want to know about this chapter, first of all, the first question arises that what is crop? What is crop? You can see that a same kind of plant grown in a large, vast area is known as crop. Is known as crops. Many crops we can grow, just like wheat, rice, cauliflower, or we can grow wheat. राइस कॉलीफ्लावर दीज आर इटेबल फ्रूट सम आर सीरियल सम आर वेजिटेबल सम आर फ्रूट्स वी कैन ग्रो इन इंडिया इन डिफरेंट प्लेसेस वी आर गेटिंग डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर डिफरेंट रेनफॉल डिफरेंट ह्यूमिडिटी सो इन ऑर्डर टू ग्रो द प्लांट वी कैन ग्रो इन डिफरेंट पार्ट वीट मीच और यू कैन सी राइस इन डिफरेंट लैंड वी कैन ग्रो डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्रॉप्स क्रॉप्स कैन बी कैटेगराइज इन टू टू ग्रुप फर्स्ट ग्रुप इज खरीफ क्रॉप सेकेंड ग्रुप इज रबी क्रॉप इन वी आर हैविंग ट्वेल्व टोटल ट्वेल्व मंथ जनवरी फेब्रवरी मार्च अप्रैल अप टू दिसंबर now you have to know about that in the kharif crops are grown in the month of june and they are harvested in the month of october that means you are growing in june and harvesting in october some of the examples are soybean crops or cotton crops second category that we are having they are known as rabi crops rabi crops are grown in the month of december or january that is in the winter season we are having sunflower pea wheat these all are called rabi crops rabi crops now one more category of crops crop is also there that is known as jaid crop because the kharif crop are grown in the rainy season the rabi crops are grown in the winter season but jaid crops are grown in the summer season we are in three summer monsoon and winter in these all seasons we used to grow different types of crops in all the different seasons we used to grow different types of crops but in order to grow the crops you have to know about the major agriculture practices what type of practices we have to do in order to get a good harvest first one you can see that is called plowing plowing can be done by the help of plow or or even nowadays the modern method that is known as tractor second after plowing we have to use the manuring we have to put the manure in the soil after that sowing of seeds then irrigation we have to irrigate the field so that the field will get the adequate amount of water after that is spraying pesticides because pest used to attack on the crops and destroy the crops so we have to use the pesticides and after that when our crop is ready to be harvested we will harvest the crop and then we will store the crop there we will store the crop so that why crops are stored crops are stored in a different method so that we can use the crops in the future so that we can grow the crops in the future so these all are the major agriculture practices that any farmer have to get now after that we have to preparation of soil first of all in order to grow any crop you have to choose the proper type of soil because in different states of india we are having different types of soil and all the soil is not suited for a particular crop so first selection of soil and after that preparation of soil we have to prepare the soil for the growing our crop 
preparation in the picture you can see that a farmer is preparing the soil with the help of a tractor because in nowadays these are the modern method for the preparation of soil now you are thinking that sir how we will prepare the soil preparation of soil and especially the plowing is very important the plowing of soil is very important for us because plowing when we are loosening the soil when we are loosening the soil that means we are providing the aeration facility then we are providing the aeration facility to the soil air will be there after the sowing of seed sowing of seed and then we will put the manure and fertilizer so that they can get good crop after that irrigation after that spraying pesticide and pesticides to kill the pest and the weeds after that we used to harvest and in the last that is known as storage and storage can be done in the form of buffer stocks what do you mean by buffer stocks buffer stocks are stored for in the future nowadays you are in the home if you have a stock of food grains then easily you are enjoying but think about that persons those who are not having the stock of the food grains now after that cropping patterns and preparation of soil what is preparation of soil now here you can see that a farmer is preparing the soil first is hard hardened soil soil is very hard when plant can't able to grow in a hard soil but when we are doing the soil loose by the help of plowing then plant can grow very easily so we have to loosen the soil in order to get the good harvest okay in order to get now when we will lose the soil earthworm and microbes can use to provide the manure to the soil so loosened soil will get all the microorganisms or the nutrient that is present in the soil can be utilized by our crop so first of all we have to lose the soil so that air or water can penetrate inside the soil if air and water will be not penetrating inside the soil then our soil is not prepared or ready for the growing of crops prepare or ready for the growing of crops so this cycle we have to continue by loosening the soil and loosening can be done and loosening can be possible only by plowing second is called process of soil preparation now you have to know about detail first plow second hoe and third cultivator with the help of in the preparation we can use the plow hoe or cultivator and we can plow the field here you can see that a farmer is loosening with the help of a hoe tractor see with the help of tractor it is preparing the soil and adding the manure in that nourishment of soil nourishment is very important because if we will not get the nutrient we cannot work then how you are thinking that without the help of nutrient a plant can be grown in the soil so that now let us recap let us recap one time what we have learned today kharif and kharif and ravi crops are the two major crop patterns followed in india major two crop patterns we are following in india the crop which are sown in the rainy season are known as the kharif crop groundnut rice cotton soybean and maize are example of kharif crops and second category we are having the crops which are grown during the winter season are termed as rabi crops the crops which are grown in the month of winter season december january they are known as rabi crops wheat pea gram mustard and linseed are example of the rabi crop linseed are example of the rabi crops
now is the time for your assignment when you have when you are watching the video after in the last you will get the assignment so please see the video pause the video again and again and try to get information about the different agriculture practices now this chapter is complete half completed in next day we will go with the next so now your assignment for the crop pattern and preparation of soil stay at home be safe try to utilize your time in order to enhance your brain and mental power stay at home thanks now after preparation of soil is the time for tilling and sowing of seed this tilling and sowing of seed is the second step for the agriculture practices is the second step for the agriculture practices now you can what are the equipments used for the tilling of soil in order to tilling of soil we can use the plow hoe or cultivator these are the three most important usable things for the cultivation what are the uses of plow you can see the farmer using a plow plow are used to tilling of soil adding manure fertilizer and for scraping the soil a farmer can use this thing see you can see how plowing is done if you have visited the village might you have seen the plow this is a picture of a wooden plow our farmer uses this kind of plow we are having the iron plow also tilling and sowing can be done with the help of bulls horses or camel this all animals we can use what are the different parts of a plow you have to know about the different part and structure of a plow then you can say that the hand we are having a handle we are having a handle of a plow we are having a beam of a plow by which we can connect the bullocks bullocks are added with the help of beam this part we are having a plow sayer and in the down we are having a plow sayer from which the ground is dug and the main part is there what are the uses of the hoe where we are using the hoe in the small field when you have to make a small ditch removing the weeds we can use the hoe that is in order to remove the weeds what do you mean by weeds what do you mean by weeds weeds are the plant that used to grow in the field which have no benefit we don't want any weed for example grasses are there we don't want any grass so this hoe is used to remove the grass from our field and after that hoe what are the parts of the hoe just like a plow it made up of iron blade that iron blade used to cut the grass or the weeds with the help of that iron blade that used to cut the grass what are the different parts of a cultivator just like plow and hoe we have to know about different part of a cultivator what are the parts of a cultivator cultivator mainly comprises of parts they are known as first in you can see the two part of the cultivator by which we can cultivator used to move from one place to another place they are actually the wheels of the cultivator now second is selection of seed we have to select the seed so that our crop yield will be very good if you are not selecting the proper seed then you can lose your harvest how to differentiate between a good and damaged seed which are the good and which are the damaged suppose that we are having a seed we want to differentiate between good one and 
damage one then take some amount of seed take some amount of seed and put in the water when we are putting some amount of seed in the water you will see that some amount of healthy seed used to be settled down and unhealthy seeds used to be floating in the water so what you have to do you have to take the healthy seeds which contain more nutrients as compared to the unhealthy seeds which contain the less nutrient they are having a fewer nutrient so in the top we are having a unhealthy seeds in the down we are having a healthy seeds that is sufficient for today tomorrow we are going to continue this chapter now copy the assignment stay at home be safe thanks now students it's the time for your assignment you have to after watching the video you have to answer these questions number 1 what do you call this machine used in agriculture number 2 what kind of equipment is used for tilling the soil number 3 how do plants resist frost bite next in section b we are having right and two differences between kharif and ravi crops number second what is irrigation what are the traditional methods of irrigating crops number third how does a farmer remove weeds from the crop